Hi ladies, it's Kathy and today we're talking about swimwear. I have five bathing suits to show you, three tankinis and two one-piece suits, four cover-ups, a couple of beach bags, a couple of beach hats, and I'm going to show you the jewelry that I'm wearing in just a minute. These bathing suits are very flattering for women over 50 who have an apple body shape. Just for reference, I'm five foot four. I have a 27 inch inseam, but a very long torso. And sometimes that can make it very difficult for me to find a one piece bathing suit that fits me properly. But sometimes the torso is just a little too short. So my favorite type of bathing suit is a tankini. However, I wanted a couple of different options to share with you today. So whenever I'm shopping for a bathing suit, I do all of my bathing suit shopping online. And the bathing suits that I have to show you today are two are from Amazon, one is from Talbots, and two are from Miracle Suit. So I'm going to start with the affordable ones from Amazon first. But whenever I'm looking online to buy a bathing suit, I take all of my measurements. And whenever I'm uh, looking for the bathing suit, the two measurements that are most important to me to make sure that it fits my body properly are my bust and my hips. Now you may be different, but it's very important to take your measurements. And the things that I am looking for in a bathing suit, because I do have an apple shaped body, which means that I have a large belly, I'm trying to camouflage that. So lots of times I will look for, well, most of the times I will look for bathing suits that have a V-neck because I find that is a very flattering neckline for me, especially in the summertime whenever I get tanned. It can be very slimming. Also, I look for some ruching in the belly area, just underneath the bust or on either of the sides, just to make my belly look like it's a little uh, cinched in. I also look for underwire. That's very important for me because I have a large bust. So I like underwire. You may not, but my personal um, preference is to have an underwire bra. And the first two bathing suits that I have from Amazon do not have that. So just keep that in mind. I do like a little bit of light padding, but like not a lot of padding. I don't want whenever I come out of the water, you know, my boobs pointing at everybody. Um, I just like it a little bit of padding. I also like a swim skirt, but not too long of a swim skirt. I just like to hide that top area of my thighs and, and the crotch area. And sometimes in a one piece, uh, I don't want to go for a swim dress. So I will try and find a one piece bathing suit that has like a high cut in the thighs. That just helps you elongate the leg and make me look a little bit taller. I find that's the most flattering look for my body. So before I get into the bathing suits, I'm gonna show you the jewelry that I'm wearing today. I'm keeping it very simple. I'm keeping the same jewelry on throughout the video because it's tiring enough, you know, getting in and out of bathing suits. So I just have a simple pair of uh, diamond hoop earrings. This necklace is actually from Amazon. I bought it last year. It's just a nice gold pendant. Uh, for bracelets, I have my new Kendra Scott bracelet, which I absolutely love. And the silver is back in stock. So I might get the silver because I think they have a Mother's Day sale running right now. And this is also a Kendra Scott bracelet, which I absolutely love. It has little pearls with this beautiful daisy flower. And I actually just ordered the matching necklace. It's on its way to me because my birthday's in June and Pearl is my, not birthstone, but gem of the month or whatever it's called. So yeah, the jewelry's simple. So I'm gonna back up and I'm gonna show you the cover up first and then the bathing suit. I've had this cover up for a while. It's from Amazon. I don't know how you pronounce this name. I'll put it on the screen, but it is a V-neck beachwear cover up with three quarter length bell sleeves. It is $26.98 in the US. There are 33 different options for colors and patterns, and I'm wearing black. I love the sheer bands on the sleeves. Uh, as we know, that's one of the trends for 2023. I'm wearing the size XXL, and it is 100% rayon. I will tell you that I wore this on my cruise to the Caribbean last November when I first received it. It's a nice cover up, but it does wrinkle easily. But I also found like in high humidity, it, was, it wasn't very breathable. Like I found that I was hot wearing it. So if you're looking for an affordable beach cover up, I highly recommend this one. I mean, it looks 
uh, like it costs more than what it actually did. I just find that it wrinkles very easily and it's kind of hot whenever it's really humid out. But you have lots of color choices. So bathing suit number one is very affordable. It's from Amazon and it is by the brand Yonique. And it's their women's plus size swimsuit with tummy control shorts. It's a two-piece bathing suit and I have it in the color hot pink. The size range goes from medium to 28 plus. I am wearing the 24 plus and it's way too big in the chest. I have the straps as tight as they'll go and it's just too big in the chest area. The next bathing suit I'm going to show you is by the same brand but it's a 22 plus. This particular bathing suit is available in 30 color combinations. It's 85% polyester, 15% spandex. It comes with boy shorts. It has a removable padded bra and adjustable shoulder straps. I don't find that the shoulder straps adjust enough for me to get the support that I want. It has ruched tummy control in the swim top and the high-waisted bottoms give full coverage if you have a larger belly. It has a deep V neckline. I really like a tankini. I like the ease of it. If you have to go to the washroom, you know, you just have to take the bottoms off. You don't have to wrestle with a one piece. I also find that a tankini fits my body better simply because I have a shorter inseam but a longer torso. So it's easier for me. I can get like different sizes for the top and the bottom and that's how I kind of like to make my bathing suits. It retails for $38.99 US and $65.21 in Canada. The beach bag that I'm carrying is by Vera Bradley. It's her women's straw tote handbag. Retails for $54.99 US, $92.75 Canadian. I love this bag. I bought this for my cruise last fall. It's 100% straw, has polyester lining. It has a 12.2 inch shoulder drop. It's, it, it doesn't have a zip or a button. You just have to remember that it is, um, it's open on the top and it's available in a couple of different motifs. So bathing suit number two is also from Amazon and it is made by the same company that made the hot pink bathing suit, Yoni. Everything is the same, 30 color combinations. The color for this one is blue paisley. I really like this swimsuit. Originally I had ordered it in a size 24 plus because I went by the sizing chart, but I decided I don't like how that's fitting me, so I sized down to a 22. It's a lot more flattering. In the bust area, it's not as, you know, too big or too droopy. I still prefer an underwire because I don't like the coverage that I'm getting with just the pads. I will, however, keep this tankini. The hot pink one is going back. I like this one because it's a smaller size, but I also like that um, the coverage of the shorts. I've never had a bathing suit before with boy shorts and I actually kind of like it. I think it's kind of flattering. It's also kind of sporty because I'm going to be doing lots of snorkeling in Maui. So I want to take this tankini and then another one that I'm going to show you at the very end. So I'll put the link below, but it, remember it's all the same information as the hot pink bathing suit, except this one is a 22 and the hot pink was a 24. So if you think that your body shape is like mine, you may want to order both sizes and see which one fits the best for you. This La Blanca Women's V-neck tunic cover-up I've had for a couple of years. You can buy it from Nordstrom, but I bought mine on Amazon. On Amazon, it is available in 64 different options. I didn't look at all 64. I have it just in black. It's 100% cotton. It ranges in price from $45 to $61 US and $104 to $320 Canadian. I think it probably depends on the pattern that you're ordering. So you should be able to find something that you like out of 64 options at the lower end of the price range. I like this tunic, but I'm kind of like over it now that I have another one that I just recently purchased that I like a lot more. I just find this one, it served the purpose for what I wanted, but I just find that it's a bit too boxy, a bit too large for my body shape and doesn't really help me out if I'm trying to look, you know, slimmer. The beach bag that I'm showing you is also from Amazon and I bought this probably a couple of years ago. I was drawn to it because of the beautiful flowers on it and also has butterflies, which I love. It's by the brand, I think it's Kuak. It's an extra large beach bag. It's waterproof, sandproof. It's a pool tote. 
It has a waterproof phone case, key holder, bottle opener, inside pockets, and rope handles. Several different options, colors, and patterns to choose from. It retails for $28.99 US, $36.99 Canadian. I'm not sure if I'm going to take this bag or the Vera Bradley bag to Maui with me. The thing that I like about this bag is that it does have a zip top, so it keeps things a little more secure because we will be going on some snorkeling excursions and, you know, just when we're hanging out at the pool or the beach. However, I feel the Vera Bradley one is uh, a little more dressy. I don't know. If I can find room in my carry-on, I'll take both because we're only doing carry-on only. So be sure to look out for my how to pack a carry-on for Maui for eight days video that'll be coming up in the next few weeks. So this third bathing suit is by Miracle Suit and it is a little on the pricey side. However, I've been wearing Miracle Suit forever, even when I was a smaller size, just because they're so flattering and they instantly make you look like you're 10 pounds thinner. The quality is impeccable. Like I said, if you take good care of it, it's going to last you a long time. This particular one-piece swimsuit is called the Marais. I have it in black and I'm wearing size 22. It retails for $210 US or $365 Canadian. It has a soft cup bra, no underwire, a scoop back, a v-neckline, fixed strap so the straps are not adjustable, a skirt at leg cut. It has maximum overall coverage. It's a full control garment and it took two of us to get me into this. It's the first time I've ever had it on. I can tell you it is like really hugging my body. Like it's not uncomfortable, but I can definitely tell that it's keeping me held in. The Miratex fabric provides all over body control. It shapes and it slims. The body of the swimsuit is 69% nylon and 31% lycra spandex. The drape, which if I had to guess is the skirt part, is 79% nylon, 21% lycra spandex. I'm having an issue with this bathing suit. I love it. It is a gorgeous bathing suit. However, remember at the beginning of the video, I told you that I always have issues with one piece bathing suits, that my torso is a little too long. I don't know if you can tell by looking at it, but I can certainly feel it, that I just need a few extra inches in length because I just feel like it's really pulling this way. And another thing that I wish that it had, because it's such a gorgeous bathing suit, is I wish that it had underwire for more support. The soft cups are nice, but I would just prefer that if my chest was lifted up a little higher. It has nice coverage on the side. You know, if you have fat here, it does a pretty good job of covering it. Overall, it's a very dressy, slimming bathing suit. You know, maybe if I lose 10, 15 pounds, then the length will fit me a little bit better. But by going from past experience, even when I was a teenager, I remember from ordering from the Sears catalog, I always had to order a bathing suit if it came with a long torso option. So that's just a, um, a little bit of information I thought that you might like to know. But it's lovely. Look at the ruching here. The V-neck, like it's so slimming. Like it really hides the belly and I love that the skirt actually starts like up under the bust. I find some bathing suits that are a little cheaper, um, the skirt isn't as substantial, but you can definitely tell the quality of this Miracle Suit is wonderful. And if you like a one piece bathing suit and you want to spend a little bit more money, you might want to give this one a try. Okay, ladies, so this is a problem that I'm having with my second one piece. It's also by Miracle Suit. I find that it's just too short in the torso. So actually on me, like the bra is down here. I need it up another couple of inches. No underwire. I wish that it had an underwire. Love the ruching. It's like very slimming here. Love the color. It's really pretty. I do wish that it was a little higher here to, you know, tuck in all of the extra fat or side boob that I have there. Again, the straps are not adjustable, but it's a very nice swimsuit. Uh, I wish that the side of the, the leg was a little more high up on the hip. 
I think that would be a little more slimming for my body shape. This swimsuit is the Miracle Suit Must Haves Oceanus One Piece Swimsuit. It retails for 180 US, 310 Canadian. I'm wearing it in the color Azul. I believe it's available in four separate colors. It has a soft cup bra, a v-neck, thick straps, a scoop back, a moderate leg cut. The Miratex fabric provides all over body control, shapes and slims the body, and the draped fabric conceals the tummy. It, the swimsuit is 69% nylon, 31% lycra spandex. So you may remember seeing this uh, bathing suit cover up from a Talbot's haul I did probably three weeks ago. It's by Cabana Life and it's their pink paisley embroidered tunic cover up. It retails for $129.50. Talbot's always has 30, 40% sales off. I never pay full price. The color is pink yarrow multi. I ordered it in the size 3X. This is available from the smallest size that Talbot's makes up to a uh, plus 3x. I don't think this is a plus petite. I think it's a 3x, but I'll put that below in the description box. It's sleeveless. It's pullover. It hits above the knee. It has Sunwell UPF protection of 50 and it's 80% nylon, 20% spandex. I love this cover up. Talbot's has a variety of different tankinis, one piece bathing suits ranging in size from the smallest size up to plus 3x and plus petite 3x. I'm going to be showing you a tankini next from Talbot's. It is by far my favorite suit that I've tried on. I'm definitely taking this to Maui. I'm going to use it as a swimsuit cover-up, but I'm also going to use it as a dress because one day we're taking like a 10 hour trip to the road to Hannah. I know it's going to be hot. We're going to be stopping by a beach, so I'm going to wear this and the I'll decide if I'm gonna go swimming or not. Out of the five bathing suits, this is my favorite. And then my second favorite for my trip to Maui is the one from Amazon, the blue paisley one. I think these are the two that I'm going to wear the most, but I'm also going to take the black one piece miracle swim dress because I wanna have three suits with me. The reason why I like this one, I find it fits me better. It has an underwire and light padding. I find though that I wish it was just a little snug in the bust, like I could use a little more push up here. I do have the bands tightened as far as they will go. I like that the swimming suit is lined. I love the color. And the thing about Talbots, you may not be aware, say you buy something that's indigo blue, a year from now, they're still gonna have indigo blue and the pieces are gonna match. So there are different bottom options for this tankini top. And like I said earlier, there's a ton of choices for plus size and plus petite size in both cover-ups, one pieces, and tankinis. So I never knew that Talbots had swimsuits for, you know, my shape. So I'm glad that they have that option. And like I said, they always have sales on, always. Like right now, I think there's a 40% sale off for Mother's Day. So I really like this tankini. I love the skirt. It just dresses it up a little bit more for hanging out by the pool or, you know, when we go on our catamaran ride, if I wanna catch some sun. But I know it's important to wear sunscreen. But I just, I love this. It just makes me happy. I don't know why. Probably because it's blue. Blue is my favorite color. The next bathing suit is from Talbot's and it's by Miracle Suit. It is the Cabana Sumatra Striped Tankini Top in the color India Ink Multi. It retails for $125.50, but I always buy my stuff on sale. You can get 30, 40% off. I ordered it in the size 24 because I went by the bus size. The material is 82% nylon, 18% spandex. There is an underwire, which I like. Straps are adjustable and non-removable, so they're fixed. The tankini top hits at the hip and it has Sunwell UPF protection of 50 plus. And I went for the matching bottom, the same color India ink. I got the vented skirt, retails for 62, 65. They have briefs, they have a few different options. Size I went with was 24, it's a swim skirt. I would say it's a mid-rise on me. If the top of it's just covering the top of my belly button, 
Wish it was maybe an inch or more higher, but it'll be okay. It has a side vent, light control. It's not a firm control like the one-piece swimsuits were. And again, it has the UPF protection of 50 plus. And I bought the matching Miracle Suit Crinkle Gauze Beach Shirt. I bought it in a size 3X because I wanted a little more room. Retails for $109.50. It has a button front closure, long cuff sleeves, a front patch and side slip pockets. It's 100% cotton. I think it's available in another collar, but don't quote me. Everything will be linked below this video in the description box and also the first pinned comment. So if you want more information, just click on the links and you can find out more information. Ladies, that's my swimwear try on for you. We tried a lot of pieces on. Hopefully there's something there that you like. Let me know which of the bathing suits and the cover-up is your favorite. I'll be sure to take lots of photos when I'm in Maui and share them on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, be sure to follow me. And I'm also going to do an outfit, what I wore in Maui whenever I get back from my vacation. If you haven't had a chance to watch my everyday outfit ideas for women over 50 with a apple-shaped body shape, check out this video and I'll see you soon. Bye!